In this video, we will be looking at five common problems when working with tables in Word and explore ways to deal with these problems most effectively. In the first table, you can see that for some reason the table is spreading beyond the border of the page and this normally happens when we cut and paste the table from another Office application such as Excel or PowerPoint. Normally, our first impulse is to try to drag the cell border in order to fix it but it will take a long time and even then it still might not work properly. So a better solution is to click on the entire table Actually, no, you can click anywhere inside the table, go to Table Layout, go to Auto Fit, and select Auto Fit to Window. Window here means the page border. So, what will automatically readjust the table so it fits nicely within our page margin, and our first problem is solved. In the second example, there is nothing wrong with our table except it does not look nice visually. The first row has very little text but is occupying too much space, whereas the second row has a lot of text and not enough space. We would like to see the table to somehow be able to readjust according to the amount of text in each cell or column. In this case, just click anywhere inside the table, go to Table Layout, go to Auto Fit and select Auto Fit to Contents, and our problem is solved. Another problem is uneven row heights. You can see that these rows have uh, one line of text each, whereas the last one has two lines of text, so the row heights are not even. What we want is for each row to have equal height. We may be tempted to do it manually, like this, but it will take a long time. So a better alternative is to select the entire table, go to Table Layout, and click on this button distribute row. It will distribute the height of the selected row equally between them. And our problem is solved. But we still have another problem. This row has two lines of text, so visually it looks okay. But the other rows only have one line of text each, and you can see that the text is skewed towards the top, and we really want the text to be in the middle of the row, so visually it looks better. Again, uh, don't try to do anything manually, just uh, select the entire table, go to Alignment, and click on this button, Align, Center, Left, Center vertically, and Left horizontally. And our problem is solved. In this table, you can see that there is no space at all between the table border and the text, and what we really want is to have a little bit of space in between, like this we don't have to do it manually. Just select the entire table, go to Table Layout, go to Cell Margin, and you can see here that the default left cell margin is set to zero. So that's why there is no space in between the table border and the text. So all we really have to do is to put in a little bit of space and our problem is solved. Our next table has one cell that is breaking across the pages. We don't like it, so we try to push it down forcibly, like this. But please don't do it, because sooner or later when the table grows, or more text are added, it will create problems. What we should do is to select the entire table, go to Table Property, Row, and you can see here that there is one option that allows a single row to break across the pages and it is checked by default. So all we have to do is to uncheck this option and in the future, any row that is trying to break across the pages will be automatically managed and our problem is solved.